important consumer information. Air out. Color change. Okay, so the the uh, okay. So what I got here is a thing that says pillow on it, and a thing that a pillow goes in. And for reference, this is a this is a pillow for a bed that I absolutely have to make before filming every video on that this channel will ever make. Ignore that for now. Uh, so, this, uh, this is a pillow. And it's saying that polyurethane is synthetic. Polyurethane is a type of plastic, but the best use of that is on bowling balls. Don't, uh, ask me how I know that. So, this is paper. This is a paper that went up inside this big plasticky bag. Um... So I can recycle this part, and also the uh, consumer information. I absolutely have to air out the pillow, but I'd rather not. So this, uh, this is what the pillow came in. This is how I uh, brought the pillow home. Um, also, there was a, uh, I, I, it was put in my car, and then I took it home, and then I put, I grabbed the, the handle part. And now there's the rest of this, which, uh, it's sealed by a zipper. It's made out of the same stuff that, uh, clear backpacks are made out of. Like, the same stuff. This is a clear backpack thickness of plastic. Now, I'm old enough to remember when clear backpacks were a fad and not, like, a legal requirement in stadiums and schools. Um... But that's another topic for another day. This, the plastic, is the thing I'm frustrated at. Now, if you watch the news, you look at uh, the information on plastic and where it goes. Um, well, uh, the, uh, most people, they take the pillow out. They uh, don't flatten the pillow. It's got pockets of air inside a big memory foam polyurethane. But most people just toss this. They throw it in the trash. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll keep one of these. You know, um, this is actually a great overnight bag, something I can uh, throw some clothes in, a toothbrush, whatever. And take that and uh, go up north to Brainerd or Bemidji or wherever I feel like that's north. Maybe even Canada. Um, but most people just toss it. Uh, so the plastic is piling up in the world. Now, uh, if it weren't for people like me and hopefully you... Um, if it weren't for humans, plastic wouldn't be anywhere on this earth. The raw materials to make it, sure, but not the plastic itself. And plastic stays around for a while. It does decompose, but it has the most harmful decomposition of any substance that isn't, uh, Teflon PFAS. That's... And there's a lot more plastic than Teflon and PFAS. Um, so it, it, it's in oceans, it breaks into little microplastics, you have wildlife choking on it, and it's just everywhere. You might see plastic bags floating around in Minnehaha Park. Not so much anymore because they charge for those, but still, the problem persists elsewhere. Um, and it's not like there's a good replacement for clear plastic. On a day-to-day -day basis, you go to the store, and it's the most sanitary way to sell one ice cream sandwich. It, it, it really is a sanitary thing once you take it off the food, and, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it keeps food cleaner than it has been historically. So, 
Until there's a viable, like, plant-based replacement that's cleared and can be mass-produced, as much as food itself, which we're already kind of close to that, but don't, don't change the channel. Until we find good alternatives, which it's still going to take at least 10 years to um, fine-tune it, um, what should we do with all the plastic that's piling up in landfills and being blown around and choking wildlife? Well, the best solution may be to get rid of it. And its existence on this planet. Yeah, I really am saying we should burn all the plastic. Now, when I say that, even though we live close to a place that already does it, people will object and be all, you know, that's dangerous, right? Yeah, if you, if I took this and burned it for extra heat on the stone floor of my bathroom, I am almost certainly going to get sick. I will almost certainly die of cancer or something like that. Never mind the fire itself. But as a specialized thing, the um, procedure for burning plastic responsibly has already been established. That's something we've known for decades. It's not like we need to do anything different. We just need to follow the guidelines that already exist for burning plastic, which is already done in the Minneapolis metro. If you've ever taken something like this and you threw it into the waste of energy, that's what happens to the waste. It gets burned in an incinerator, in a massive fire. Really close to home. And, uh, then it gets turned into electricity. So, yeah, we should be doing that to all the plastic in the world that we can get. It makes that plastic a lot more valuable when you convert it into energy. And that fuel could be used not just for, um, some incinerator down the road from the airport, you can also use it as fuel for ships. Burning plastic in a ship, that's better than the fuel that most of those ships currently use. And, you know, when it comes to burning plastic, we know how to do it. We figured it out. We know the risks. We know that when you do that, you need to take some special precautions and we know what those precautions are. When it comes to recycling plastic, we have no idea what we're doing. Often it's sent to some faraway Asian country to be burned over there with no safeguards, no responsibility. And that has to stop. People think they're throwing their pop bottles in the bin and that it's turning into another one. Most of the time it's not. Especially if you toss it at a gas station, there's so much contaminated with it that it's often going to end up at a landfill. That's the best case scenario for that. Or burned in China. We could burn it here. We can burn stuff better. This is America. We burn a lot of things, and plastic should be one of those things. That's an easy sell, except... For everyone else in the world is concerned about plastic waste, telling them, you know, let's just take it and burn it. Uh, that is a hard sell for a lot of people around here to just say, yeah, let's just shrug our shoulders and throw it into the fire. But that's the best thing we could be doing. And it might be too close to comfort for a lot of people, but globally... If you really are concerned about the whole earth, then you're better off doing that here than uh, in Thailand or wherever the hell they send these. Wherever they send the plastic. America can do better. We can burn plastic better than any other country. 
And yeah, that will release some carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. But that's better than some open flame far away or having it decompose and produce methane for decades, if not centuries. And while it would suck to just come out and tell people, hey, we're not recycling your plastic anymore, we're actually going to burn it, no matter what bin, if you put it in the recycle bin, well, again, better than a landfill, and it, you would just have to give some tough love message along the lines of, you know, we're not taking plastic, it can't be recycled, so either throw it in the garbage for a landfill or put it in the recycle bin where we will burn it. That should be legal, that should be allowed, it's the best way to handle the problem. Um, in fact, I mean, e even if the plastic in recycle bins are burned, that's going to be the more responsible thing in contrast to letting it rot in a landfill. So, in the end, you're not recycling it. You'll be recycling other stuff like um, cardboard and other more valuable things, but not plastic. That's going to get burned. It, you, if you put it in the more responsible bin, it will still be handled more responsibly than if you just threw it away. And even after that is even in the scenario, in the scenario where someone throws plastic away and it goes into a landfill, at least it's in a central bag where it can be better handled than uh, shipping it on a boat to Asia, some Asian foreign country, or God forbid we get to the point where um, plastic is burned in an open field on the African savanna where giraffes and lions would breathe that. So that is the Minnesota perspective on plastic waste. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until we do that, it's going to keep being a problem.